again we bid you shalom in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus Christ. In this series of lessons, we will be dealing with the scientific evidence, the E1B1A factor. To begin with, we need to answer the question, what is genetics, or what is a gene? To understand why this science is so critical in showing who we are as Hebrews, we must give somewhat of a short explanation of how DNA works. The word gene is derived from the Greek word genos, which means birth or origin. We get the word genesis, the Old Testament word from the Greek word. The terms genetics and genealogy are synonymous terms. Genetics involves the tracing of one's ancestral makeup by using the science of genetics, which include geographical and national origin, as well as physiological makeup, connected by the word gene. A gene is governed by DNA, which is the abbreviation for ribonucleic acid. Every living cell contains DNA. Think of DNA as a large recipe book that determines all of the characteristics that are specific to individual organisms. Small sections of DNA are called genes. All told, genes are the building blocks of life, how to make a person or living organism, if you will. Genes hold the information to build and maintain an organism's cells. Every organism has genes corresponding to various biological traits, some of which are immediately seen, such as eye color, nose shape, hair color, hair texture, etc. Some traits are not recognizable at all, such as blood type, and increased risk for certain diseases. These genealogical traits are passed down to offspring. Now every human being has 23 pairs of chromosomes, 22 pairs of antisomal chromosomes, and one pair of sex chromosomes. All men have an X chromosome and a Y sex chromosome, but the women only have an X chromosome. These chromosomes determines whether the baby will be male or female. Now God made Adam first, then he created Eve from his rib. Adam's rib contained his DNA, which included his antisomal chromosome and his sex chromosome, X and Y. These were the building blocks to make male and female. Now, in a perfect situation, if we knew our father's last name or slave master's last name, which is a surname, we can use Y paternal DNA testing to trace our lineage or ancestors to a certain time period and figure out where our ancestors come from. But slaves had their names taken away from them, so most genetic DNA testing companies cannot tell African Americans and Caribbean blacks with 100% accuracy what tribe they come from. 
How is a person's bloodline or genealogy established? In order to establish a person's genealogical lineage, you have to go through the Father. As believers, we know that God established the patrilineal system in Genesis, the fifth chapter, verse 1 and 2. The Father possesses the Y DNA or Y chromosome that is passed down to the male child. It is passed down from male to male and female to female. This is why fatherhood can be accurately determined through DNA. And this is how a person's biological lineage can be tra traced. The Y chromosome is passed down from generation to generation. DNA haplotypes and haplogroup are cataloged by a sequence of letters and numbers that represent the male origin and male bloodline of the different races. All indigenous Africans and African Americans are categorized or designated as haplogroup E. The indigenous African is categorized or designated as belonging to the E1B1B haplogroup. But the African American possesses a different gene which is rare. It is the haplogroup referred to as E1B1A. The greatest majority of African Americans belong to this haplogroup. This was information that the European elites wanted to conceal. But when an African tribe called the Limba tribe was seen to practice the Jewish religion almost exactly as if they were a part of a Jewish temple in the United States and maintain the claim that they were the original Hebrews that left Israel thousands of years ago, the world did not believe them. There are also subgroups of the E1B1A haplogroup, such as E1B17A, EM2, and so forth. But this E group shows that we come from the same seed or bloodline. We can think of this as a tree with many branches. There are many branches, but we came from the same tree. So the limba was genealogically tested. Now we will save this story for another slide presentation. Suffice it to say that this is exactly one of the reasons why it is determined that the Negro is not African. Noah's son Ham settled in Africa. This is his is a continent of origin. But Shem settled in the area of Mesopotamia, but was promised the land of Canaan, where he eventually settled. Therefore, haplogroup E1B1A, Shem's haplogroup, was located in Northeast Africa, the land of Canaan or Palestine which is also known as the promised land.